Hi, it's John Romita Jr. from San Diego Comic Con. Fantastic comics. He's worked with the best shop in the world. Hands down. Hey everybody, this is Yule, owner and proprietor of not only Fantastic Comics, the YouTube channel, but owner and proprietor of Fantastic Comics, the comic book store in Berkeley, California. We are open from 12 to 5 p.m. every Wednesday through Sunday. And if you're interested in anything that's going on in the store, you may want to check out all our different social media devices out there. Um, just check out Fantastic Comics. It's probably a good way to get a hold of us. We also have a live show that we do every Tuesday, getting ready for the new day of comics for Wednesday. And I let everybody know about that and maybe some stuff that you might not know about as far as the world of comics are concerned from a store owner's point of view. I'm a longtime fan and I'm totally invested and we get together and have a real good time in the live chat. And I welcome anybody to come on in or maybe watch it after the fact. One of our members of the show, if you will, someone who often watches, Elithid Lore, said, Hey, you saw this review for the Infinity War trade and immediately thought of you. Hope you get a kick out of it. Well, I appreciate you giving me that link, and we're going to take a look at that in just a moment for anybody that's interested in letting me know about things that I might want to make a video about or something that you're interested in, maybe something you just don't you know, know fully about, and maybe I can help you out. You can contact me, Yule, at contact at fantasticcomics.net. That's the email that I put out there for everybody. And uh, again, thank you, Elitha Lore. Let's take a look at the Amazon review. It gets four stars, and that's a thing. Titled, How Not, in capital letters, to Draw Comics the Marvel Way. Posted in 2016. And I want to let everybody know right off the bat that in no way did I write this. First off. Ultimately enjoyable cosmic Marvel fare, but not as epic as the original Secret Wars or the original Infinity Gauntlet. The only real bummer, and it's a bad one, is the overall drawing. It was a real shock to see just how amateurish the rendering of these legendary characters were at the hand of Lim, who did a good job with Perez in the original Infinity Gauntlet. And we're talking about Ron Lim, who had the unfortunate uh, mishap, <laughs> the unfortunate uh, honor of following George Perez, who couldn't finish Infinity Gauntlet. And anytime you're going to be compared to a great like George Perez, it's going to do something to diminish your quality. Having said that, I am not a big Ron Lim fan, and I did not continue reading Infinity Gauntlet specifically because of his art. The elongated facial structure of human characters like Captain America were sickening to behold. I was depressed to see one of my favorites, Dr. Doom, degenerate into a third grader's tracing paper experiment. Only did Spider-Man, Thanos, and Galactus escape this tragedy and look decent enough to pass as respectable. Also, Absolutely no shading or variance in the line work, all flat. I think we're talking variances with a C instead of variance like a cover. Nonetheless, uh, I think I see what this guy is saying. You know, I am not really um, versed in everything when it comes to the Infinity stories. So I am not actually sure who the inker was during the Infinity Crusade, but I'm checking out right here, and uh-oh, this does explain a lot, because if I'm not mistaken, Alve was maybe the inker, especially of Ron Lim in the 90s, but this right here, inked by Al Milgram, 
I wonder how much and how quickly Ron Lim had to get these books out because he was a good monthly artist that could actually get two a month done. Good in that way, at least. And to have Al Milgram finishing your work, oof. Not necessarily something that I would want to have happen to my artwork. And maybe giving credence to what this uh, person has to say about uh, the art. That said, the artwork improved a lot in the last couple Infinity War issues. I mean, it looked really good. I actually didn't mind the addendum at the end consisting of Infinity Watch issues and Wolverine issues, which I assume are not drawn by Ron Lim or at least the same art team. They gave insight too, and that explained pretty important events between the main issues of Infinity War. It would have made better sense to include them between their respected issues, but perhaps the differing style was thought to be a hindrance and to the main Infinity War series. By the way, the extra issues were excellently drawn and written. And uh, that was the review by uh, this person. And I don't necessarily think that it's a, a really bad one. But it often seems to be that, like, what is being discussed is then automatically uh, <laughs> rescinded in the same sentence. So that's a pretty cool little uh, review of Infinity. God damn. It, it, Infinity War, I guess. Infinity Crusade. I can't even tell you which one this guy's talking about anymore. That's how, how baffled I am when I do the whole, the whole Infinity jim starlin uh universe it's just uh just crazy time crazy time i tell you and uh if you're if you're looking for ron Lim to be like the the art supreme <laughs> as far as you know when you if you can't draw silver surfer spider-man galactus thanos i mean i can't even understand how like uh uh Dr. Doom is drawn poorly because almost anybody can pull that off. Um, having said that, uh, there you go. That's the, uh, that's the review. And uh, I agree. Thank you very much for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, hit the uh, like button. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, you might think about doing so. And also uh, hit the bell for notifications so you can know when we're going to go live and have other videos like this. Thank you very much. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Class is uh, dismissed.